Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael, humble seeker of truth for the gathering. I don't know if I've titled anything. I'm sure I have somewhere along the way, but oh my gosh, it, it could be titled Ascension Day Part 3 because we're still looking at May 17th, May 18th. And no, I don't know the day and hour, and that's all that verse says. It doesn't say nobody's got a clue, and we do. And uh, many watchmen are looking at those days, and for very good reason. Starting with the moon um, occult, it's called an occultation. It covers Jupiter per our line of sight. And uh, they both represent the man-child. And so that's really interesting. 517 Ascension Day. Um, it would be the 40th day on Father's calendar that they were seen. And on their count, their calendar starts five days later. Uh, but they count it wrong. And so it ends up being the same. 40th day, 517. 41st day 518. So <clears throat> we looked at in the last couple videos regarding Ascension Day, we looked at different witnesses, numerical witnesses that pin that day, starting with 517, pins 517. So does 17.5, 17th day of the fifth month, uh, or 175. Same thing as 517. And um, let's just quickly review, as I said last video, boy, if you can have this right in front of you to reference as we go, I think it is, uh, would be a big blessing. I know last video, I forgot, I, I hold the charts a certain way and my voice cuts out. Uh, hopefully not a whole lot got missed. And so I will uh, endeavor to solve that and um, yeah so 517 137th day of the year on the Gregorian calendar we just talked about 17.5 it pins the same thing as 517 137th day Gregorian 61st day on father's calendar 40th day that they saw him from when they first saw him and um, and then 235 days. We're not going to focus on that in this video, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And uh, 518 <clears throat> is 138, 138th day. Uh, sorry, 518 is also 185, 138th day Gregorian, 62nd day on Father's calendar, 41st day uh, of seeing him or when he ascended and I'm not sure if he ascended on the 40th day or after 40 days, which would be on the 41st day, and that's why we're highlighting both days. Um, <clears throat> I had said last video that I added another witness, and I said on their calendar, so it's 61st day on Father's calendar, and I said 55th day on their calendar was 517. That's not accurate, I realized, because the calendars are five days apart. And so they would only be four days apart if, if uh, this is the 55th day compared to, sorry, they'd be six days apart compared to the 55 and 61. So this is their 56th day, and this is their 57th day, and there is at least one very big reason that that I find that hugely interesting and we're going to cover that shortly so this video is giant diamond after giant diamond uh, at least one person said can't I make the video shorter I could cut it in half the time well okay uh, we're looking at 517 518 don't know the day and hour but father's narrowed it down a whole bunch there you go. So you can just shut her down right here. This channel is for seekers and steak eaters. 
and those that are diligently watching for the Lord. You can watch these videos, and and I get it. I really do. There's a couple watchmen I enjoy, uh, but man, like every video is two hours, and I just don't have the time, so I can relate to that. Um, not all these videos are. A bunch of them are 45 minutes. It, it's not the same as two hours. So now and then there is Father Leads, and uh, I'm imperfect at it, so I do... The best I can do. You can watch it on uh, faster speed and that will reduce the time or watch it in pieces. But boy, the whole thing is packed with diamonds. So uh, I think it's worthy of, of your time. And please keep in mind, if you're watching an hour video, it took 10 to 15 hours to make it. And so, um, yeah. I love you guys dearly, and I hope this blesses you. And here, I'm wasting time. Not wasting. Okay, so, boom, reviewed. Make sure you got that. All right. So, we are going to look at different ways that Father patterns and and pins those two days, Ascension Day, as far as the return of his son and uh, the beginning of Great Tribulation. The 99 sheep are the floodgates, if you will. They are the restraint. The Holy Spirit in them is the restraint. And it must be removed for Great Tribulation to begin. And so some of this might be reviewed. Most of it is new, but it all ties together in gorgeous fashion genesis 12 4 12 1 first thing father says to abram get up get out of the land of your fathers and go to a land i will show thee 12 4 and abram was 75 that is a figure of the rapture and uh going to the promised land okay and israel is 75 so abram is pictured for israel um, Abram used 61 times. 5.17 is uh, 61st day on Father's calendar. Sorry. <laughs> Abram was 75 when he departed. Then she was 518 times, so we have 517, 518. There's a very strong possibility that just like on 49410-2021, that uh, it may be 1234 a.m. in Jerusalem and 434 p.m. on the 17th here. 1234 on the 18th there, 517 here. Now, even if I know the day and the hour, I don't know that I do because there's so many variables. And so, in fact, I'm going to highlight one of them that as strong as I, Father's going to make the case for 517, 518, there's another variable that plays in. It, it could be we enter the ark, whether it be literally, there's a good chance of that, if it's the case, or figuratively on 517, 518, depending where you are. So either go or enter the ark, I believe. Let's go to Genesis 17, 5. Now this is where both of these are from last video, but they tie so strongly into this one that we're hitting them again in quick fashion. 17.5, that's 17th day of the fifth month. Pinning, 5.17. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, 61 times, pinning 5.17. But thy name should be called Abraham, used 175 times. Pinning 5.17. Aaron, not in this verse, but elsewhere, is number 175. 
also pinning 517. But thy name shall be called, shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. Yeah, so Abram 61 times, but shall be is used 75 times, Israel's age, Abraham, and there's our 17th day of the fifth month, 175 times as the phone beeps and if you can't read this i can't read it either so just give me a second we got squeaky chair squeaky desk i don't think i'm gonna have time to do much about that so it is what it is i did try the uh wd-40 somebody recommended and it didn't do a whole lot on this chair it helped my doors though 517 divided by 5, the sign of our family, sign of his coming. And look, we're talking about the 61st and 62nd day. Phi is 1.62, the golden relationship. The 6 represents the Vav, and behold the hand, behold the nail. Yahweh, the name of our father, yod heh vav -He. And the Vav is literally a picture of a nail, and its value is 6 in the Hebrew language, so you have Two hands, a hundred sheep in the end, ninety-nine sheep and lost sheep. Okay, Vav one, six one, and Vav two. The Vav one, six one is ninety-nine sheep. Vav two, six two, lost sheep. And so the fact that again, five seventeen, five eighteen is the sixty-first and sixty-second day on Father's calendar, it's not just numbers. It it is very significant. And so we have found that when we divide things by the golden ratio, golden relationship, sign of our family, and I can't say that enough because it's gigantic, um, we have seen amazing things and we're going to see more. Oh my gosh. Starting with this, 517 divided by 5 is 3.19.13580 or 3.19.13580269. So, well, these nine digits repeat in that same order forever. Well, 175 is completely unrelated to 517 other than it pins the same day on a Gregorian calendar. Other than that, numerically, they're completely unrelated. And yet, when we divide 175 by 5, it's 108.2469 one, Same nine digits repeating forever. Absolutely breathtaking. Now, the digits that repeat here start really with the 2469, okay? That's part of those nine that repeat. So we have 1080 isolated, and that would be a full circle in 180. And there's our phi and 99 sheep, that first arc, arc one, vav one, on the 61st vav one day. What about this 319? Oh, well, that means the end in the Strong's. Let's look at a few places that's used. First one is Genesis 49.1. That would be 49.1.0. I can add the point zero. It doesn't change anything. So we have 4.9 and 9 divine order in 4.10. And that ties back to 2021. Some other places it's used. Deuteronomy 32.20. If you've been following along, you know that's a very significant number. In the verse, and he said, I will hide my face from them and I will see what their end 319 shall be. For they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. Also in verse 29 of Deuteronomy 
32, the Song of Moses. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their 319, their latter end. Uh, Isaiah 46, 10. That one's, they're all worthy of reading. But this one stands out. Verse 9, remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, saith Almighty God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 10, declaring the 319, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Uh, Daniel 8. Verse 19. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation. For at the time appointed, the end shall be. Daniel 8.23. 23 can be 2023 and second day of the third month. So 62nd day of the year, May 18th, is also the third month, second day, both on Father's calendar, 30 day months. And 823, and in the latter time of the their kingdom when the transgressors are come to the full a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up hmm has there been any kings lately that have stood up um all right uh daniel 10 14 that would be one father in 104 Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. 319. For yet the vision is for many days. We're going to come back to Daniel. Uh, oh. Huh. So once again. 517 divided by 5 and 175. Fifth month, 17th day, 17th day, fifth month. Kicking out the same nine digits, repeating in the same order forever, which highlights the 319, the end. So this is a stamp because it stands out and it stamps this 517. Okay, 138th day of the year is 518. What about 138 divided by 5? Well, that would be 8, new beginning, and 518, 518, 518. It's new beginning and 518 repeating forever. And it's the 138th day of the year, 518. Oh, my gosh, it's... I think that's jaw-dropping myself. How about 137 divided by 5? That would be 517, the 137th day on Father's calendar. Well, that is 84.5667. And then zero one two three four five six seven nine zero. So again, it produces nine digits in this order that screams at us. And uh, the only digit left out of the repeating is this eight that it starts with. New beginning. Boom. 
And what do we have? We got four, five, six, seven, which happens to be Satan in Strong's. Because he's coming. The minute the floodgates are removed, Satan and his angels are going to hit this planet like a flood. Flood of enemies. And it's right here. Five, six. Five, seventeen. The 137th day of the year is the 56th day on their calendar. On whose calendar? Um, okay, who warped the calendars? Father can glorify him and will glorify himself on many calendars. Don't get locked into it. It has to be this or that. Oh, what else we got here? We got 84.0 or 840. And then one, two, three, four. So we got, let me look at this, make sure I explain it right. Okay. So we also have five, six, seven, nine in 84.0 and one, two, three, four. Well, that pins the exact day and time of declaration. 840 is 4 times 10 times 21, and it was at 1234 in Jerusalem that Father had us make declaration. And this is to divide or break apart. Tied to Noah's flood, tied to the parting of the Red Sea. Figures that apply to rapture, dividing the firmament. And what was the de declaration for? Satan and his angels to be cast out. What is number 5679? Well, it's used one time. It is a ferry boat. It's how, what it's translated into. 2 Samuel 1918. Let's go there. We don't, I don't spend much time in Samuel, first or second. Um, second Samuel 1918. And there went over a ferry, and there went over a ferry boat, an ark. A ferry boat to carry over the king's household and to do what he thought good. And Shimei, the son of Gera, fell down before the king as he was come over Jordan. We know a couple guys that went over Jordan. That'd be Elijah and Elisha. Elijah representing the bride, Elisha representing the man-child. They both crossed the barrier, the Jordan. Then Elijah goes to the place prepared in figure. And Elisha comes back with a double portion. So that's an interesting verse in the context of its placement. Fall down 434 times on 4 9 2021. Oh, wait till you see what he does with that in a minute here or a few minutes. It was at 434, 1234 in Jerusalem, 434 in the far land. Before the king, I uh, used 2518 times as king. Two and 518 and he was come over Jordan about 136 which is 516 um, yeah well divided by five it's 
83, which it's the Hebrew year 5783. And these same nine digits that we've seen so many different things that pertain to our family generate these same nine digits in the same order repeating forever. 950, that represents the flood because Noah lived 950 years. Also represents me that's telling you 3, 2 plus 63 being my birthday is 95. 95 full circle and 950 is in the days of Noah were. Now we know this 6172, well that was 61st day, what's well, March 2nd, day of warning in 2021 and Israel was 72. Now it's the Hebrew year 5783 and Noah's flood is going to manifest and then we have this 61 again. 61st day of the year on Father's calendar, 517. In the year 5783. Hmm, we'll know when we know. Now next would be this 7, okay? 617. And we're going to ponder if we get in the ark on that day. Seven days later would be the 24th. And we may physically, do we physically board something? I don't think that's how it's pictured, but um, Ezekiel 10, 1 and 10 maybe, and it causes one to ponder. Anyway, this 950, so flood, flood and this in between 61 plus 72 plus 83 is 216 which is six times six times six it is the flood so you got 950 six times six times six 950 and then the 61 pinning 517 and then the seven for spiritual completion and perfection or seven days in the ark i don't know don't know the day and hour even if i do speaking of noah and you know that 950 and then the 95 tying to me uh let's go back to the genealogy in genesis 5 Oh, this is beautiful. We've looked at this a couple times. We're going to look further. So let's pick this up in uh, Genesis 5. That'd be 51 full circle. 51 is Michael. And in this verse, we are introduced to Canaan. And that's a phonetic tie to me and Enos lived after he begat Cain in 815 years and begat sons and daughters verse 11 and all the days of Enos were 905 years that'd be full circle and 95 or 95 with full circle and it tied exactly the same thing as the 950 both things Verse 12, and Canaan lived 70 years and begat Mahalalel. Now Canaan is number 70, 18. And Israel turned 70 in 2018. All right, let's keep going and then I'll get the chart out. Verse 13, and Canaan lived after he begat Mahalalel 840 years. And begat sons and daughters. 840, that's 4 times 10 times 21. Day of declaration. And all the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. And Mahalaleel lived 60 and 5 years and begat Jared. 
516. And Mahalaliel lived after he begat Jared 830 years and begat sons and daughters. All right, let's... Oh, sorry. As we look at this, I want to point this out. We've looked at it before. Canaan, divided by five, sign of our family, produces these same nine digits in the same order, repeating forever, that we just talked about. From uh, 136, which represents 516. Then we're in verse 516, or that's where we got to, okay? Here we have five, five, and then we begin the nine digits, 61 and so on. This 561 is to declare, to speak, sorry, speech or word. First use is when he told us to speak. Speak unto the rock. Genesis 49.21, first use. Wow. If we add the nine repeating digits, it is 41.0. Day of declaration, 4.10.21, when he told us to speak unto the rock. Used 49 times as a double emphasis. But we also have grace and 61. Father's all about full circle, and this would be full circle to 517, 61st day. So, can you send the 18? Um, and we just talked about that. Israel turned 70 on 2018. Begat is number 3205. 32, third month, second day. Pins 518. And full circle in grace. Mahalaleel. Okay, Canon has Mahalaleel at 70. And then lives for another 4 times 10 times 21 years. And Mahalaliel is taken from two roots, 410 and 4110, or one father in 410, also a hundred sheep in 410. Picturing the hundred sheep being divided. And that's when it began, because he says, take them to the water and I will divide them for thee there. And that's what he's been doing ever since. Uh, 3.20, so we have that 32. We also have 3.20, which is the end, just like 3.19 is. Only this is used one time. It's in Daniel 2.28. Forty ninth verse of Daniel. Chapter two starts on page seven thirty. That is a number that represents man child. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets and makes known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Three twenty. Thy dream and thy visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. And so then he goes on to give the interpretation. So, 320. Uh, something here is used 500 times. Begat. 500 times. That makes a whole bunch of sense, doesn't it? Sign of our family. Sign of his coming. And number 500 is Antichrist. Sign of that as well. All the days of Cain and 514. So he pins exactly their age in the year. And then in 514, Cain and dies and is 910 years old. Then Mahalalil 
Liz another air has Jared and Liz 830 years, 83 full circle. Hebrew year 5783. And then 516. And he begat sons and daughters. Notice this. It's 1323. And we got 132, which is red for the great red dragon. And 323. Because on their calendar, March 23rd was their first day of the year. Whose first day? Oh, that's twice he did that. Pointing to who warped the calendars. Okay, 517. Oh, back to Genesis. Oh, almost looked right to it. If I could turn the pages faster, that would help. 517. All the days of Mahalaleel were 890 and 5 years and he died. That'd be 8, new beginning, and 95.0 that we've been talking about. And we're in verse 517 when Mahalaleel dies. 518. And Jared lived 162 years, tied to the sign of our family again. 500 and 162. Both represent Phi, the golden ratio slash relationship. 519. And Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years. And begat sons and daughters. All the days of Jared were 960 and two years, and he died. And Enoch, interestingly, well, it doesn't matter. It's 800 uh, omega plus 162 phi. Uh, and Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah. 5.22, and Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years. Mm, 300 represents man-child from Judges 7, when he narrows it down from 32,000 down to 300. Verse 22, and Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years, 524. And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. Have you ever pondered how can it be as in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot? When Noah gets into an ark for seven days and Lot, the minute he comes out of the city, Fire rains down from heaven. Both pictures of the flood of enemies coming. Well, how? Well, I'm not sure that I know how, but I find it really interesting that we seemingly go into the ark 517, 518, and seven days later, 524, Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. Does that remind you of a word like uh, harpazo, like snatched away, to take by force? Or forcefully take? I find that wildly interesting. Enoch walked 500 times by in 524, 517 plus 7. And he was not for God. Took him 909 verses that's used and then be full circle in 99 sheep. So both the 99 sheep are represented here and the man child through the 300. Uh, 531, 777. Oh, we didn't get there yet. So if we keep going, in all the days of Lamech were 770 and 7 years, and he died. 5, 3, 2. Again, 32, 3 months, second day, 518. 
And Noah was 505 years old and had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. All when he was 500? I don't know, but I do know that that's the 138th verse of Genesis. 518 is the 138th day of the year. Uh, I missed a little tidbit over here that is well worthy of knowing. Enoch, number 2585. Well, notice this 585 in here. Interestingly, we've talked the uh, last couple videos, um, not so much the last one, the two before that, about Homer, about the Simpson. Mind blowing similarities and Homer pins 518 which just happens to be Ascension Day and we saw a lot of other things in there but I missed something and it has to do with the mistake that I corrected at the beginning of the video so Homer's pins 518 and he's out watching for the Lord and there's some with him and and then all of a sudden they get tired and they stop watching. And so now he's, uh, they're mad at him and he comes into, back into town. And the first thing is some shop owner stand there. Hey, Nostra, dummy. And uh, there's a number right next to him on the wall, the address of the building, which happens to be 507, which is full circle in 57. And that's significant because 518, the day that Homer pinned, is the 57th day on their calendar. And so the guy that's calling him stupid for having 518 pinned has got it right on the wall next to his head. That is just wild. And Enoch is introduced in what verse? That would be 518. Why did I bring up the 585? Because the Simpson ep episode was aired. This rapture episode aired 5805. 585. April 8th, 2005. Number 585 is proof. And, uh, yeah, then when I did that video, it was my 518th video that he led me to look at the Simpsons again, who Homer pins 518. And I went to 5.7 thousand subscribers pinning both the 518 and the 507, which pinned the same day, Ascension Day. Gosh, I hope somebody's saying wow. Because wow. All right. Uh, let's dig up another diamond here. Let's go to Daniel 10. And we're going to pick this up. You know, it doesn't say Michael fought for 21 days here. It says Gabriel fought for 21 days. And somewhere, Michael, he's having a vision. Okay, Michael wasn't back there. He's having a vision of the latter days. What shall befall thy people in the latter days? And Michael figuratively comes in here. To help fight the Prince of Persia in the latter days. Verse 20, then said he, knowest thou wherefore? Oh, that's number 4100. 410, which is the hundredth day of the year. It's a double pin on 410. And we're going to close. It closes in verse 21. 
Wherefore I come unto thee? And now I will return to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grisha shall come. Isn't it interesting that like Grisha, and I'm not a geo, uh, a geology, uh, geography expert, <laughs> clearly, especially ancient geography. But I, in my mind, like, um, I don't know, like England and Great Britain and those countries there would be Grisha then. The Prince of Gracia shall come. Hmm. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. And there is none that holds with me in these things. But Michael, your prince. All right. 1021 is full circle in 121. And that happens to be. Simple English gematria for the archangels. Michael, inseparable from his angels. It just often gets, Michael is put for him and his angels. And that would be those that were at the river on 49-410. And anybody father has led here since then, up until this minute, that has a heart to come back across the river into the darkest night. To declare the glory of Almighty God and His Son, Jesus Christ. And to speak the word. And to watch the word grow mightily and prevail. And it shall. Mm. But. So. I kind of did this in reverse order. But since we're right here, let's let's do it. Okay, uh, Brother Paul pointed this out to me the other day. But is number 61, um, which is also the word drought in the Greek, number 61, which put the net on the right side of the boat and thou shalt catch. And they took a great drought. That's number 61. And that's a figure of uh, gathering the 99 sheep. Now the net broke because it takes two nets or two boats. So the one that wasn't enough at first, 99 sheep and lost sheep. In John 21, at the end of the family fishing trip, it's one net that holds all the fish, but it takes two boats. 99 sheep and lost sheep. But number 61 from number 56. Because the 61st day on Father's calendar, May 17th, is the 56th day on Bears. Boom. And I will show thee what is noted worthy of note. Is what gets noted. I've said that once or a thousand times. I will show thee what is noted in the scripture of truth, and there is none that holds with me in these things. But now you'd think that's number 61, and that'd be cool. Emphasis on 517. But it's not. It's number 3588, which is 3910. 3 and 910 relating back to Canaan. Live 910 years. But it's with number 518. So we have but number 61, pinning 517, and but. Number 518, 517, 518. And it's in 931.0 verses, which is 3 in 910. Hmm. Interesting. But Michael.
but Michael. Sorry, I just had it paused for a few minutes. I think I just read this and got to the second but, so 61st day. Yeah, we covered that. But Michael is number 4317. Notice our Lord Jesus Christ to be number four. Four three is resurrection day on Father's calendar, but also we have Jesus Christ and 317. There's 12 hours in the day, Father's calendar. And Michael's telling you, that's the equilux. When there's equal light and darkness, 12 hours in the day, 12 hours in the night. And our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who said it, John 11, 9. But notice also we have this three in 417 which is 300 in 417. And this, after four months on the 17th day, or four months in and 17 days. Four months complete, 17 days. Can represent the same thing as 517. In the fifth month, 17th day. And he taught us that with Ezekiel 8.1. And I'm not going to get into it right now, but he set precedent for that. So we'd catch it here, maybe. This is from number 4310, which is 300 in 410. Because Michael and his angels, man-child, represented by 300. And on that bridge on 410, there was maybe exactly 300 people. <laughs> wow, Father. It's from 4310 and 410. And this. Because we want to know, return, O oh Lord, when are you getting here? How long? All right, one more chart. So I was checking out uh, Brother Steve's video recently, and uh, one of the things in it was talked about 12 blood moons, six on each side of 517, 518, Ascension Day. So six on each side, 12 is completion and perfection in administration or governance and so I found that interesting and it happens that from the first one of those which was 72718 and number 727 is Ark as in Ark of the Covenant with the two golden angels on the golden Ark those golden Ark angels representing the hundred sheep by the way Seven twenty-seven eighteen. That was two B of, and uh, point the greatest eclipse. I remember was twenty twenty-two, pointing to twenty twenty-two, which is mountain, as in the mountain that got removed in twenty-one. Okay, from seven twenty-seven eighteen, that first of those twelve eclipses. Uh, two, five, seventeen, it's 1755 days to 518, it's 1756 days. So we're going to consider both of those. Starting with the 1755, well, we got 175, which is 517, and 5, grace, and 175, which is 517. Um, that happens to be 151,632,000 seconds. That'd be one father. It's just wild how that happens like that. Okay. So, one father, 
15, because they made covenant in 2015, they did with Satan. That's when, uh, well, we've covered it a bunch. And then we got this. So 51 also is Michael. 6332. 3263. Michael's birthday. And then we got this 32,000 here. We also have 32, which is third month, second day, or 518. But this 32,000 relates back to Judges, which I had mentioned. So in Judges 632, 63 and 32, he changes Gideon's name to Jerubbaal. Let Baal plead against him because he has teared down his altars. Let's go there. Joshua Judges. And let's look at verse 25. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Gideon. Oh, this is page 226, by the way, which is signs. Signs and seasons. Genesis 114. Signs is number 226, interestingly. Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath, and cut down the grove that is by it. First use of uh, grove is, I think, Exodus 34.13, which is Michael, the archangel, in the New Testament. Thy father's young bullock, the second bullock of seven years old, represents the 99 sheep. And we've covered this in the past. I'm not going to get into exactly how, but it does three-part gathering, seven spiritual completion and perfection. The first fruits were a couple thousand years ago with our right after our Lord Jesus Christ got resurrected. They did. That'd be the 24 elders that are up there. Then there's 90 in the end times. Then there's 99 sheep and lost sheep. So the, the second one is the 99 sheep. First being the first fruits. So we did cover it. There we go. Throw down the altar of Baal that thy father hath. Cut down the grove. That began 4, 9, 4, 10, 21 at our father's power and declarate at father's power and plan and uh he just told us when to make declaration as a statement for jacob's trouble when this continues tearing down the altars of baal verse 32 6 32, 63, 32, he changes his name to Drew Bill. We get to uh, 7, 3. Now, therefore, go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. 22,000 and 10,000 is 32,000. That's why we're looking at it because this number has the 632 in there that we just looked at and the 32,000. Then he, we know he says, oh, there's stu still too many guys to deliver the Midianites into your hands because somebody will say they did it. This is all our Father's glory and the glory of His Son. So He cuts it down to 300. By the 300, I will deliver. Verse 6, And the number of them that left putting their hand to their mouth was 300 men. Uh, all the rest of the people, okay. And the Lord said, verse 7, 7, 7. The Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men 
will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thine hand. So I found that very interesting, but not as interesting as this. So I don't want to, let's see here. Watch what he does with this. So from that first of those blood moons, 727, 18 to 518, 23, 1756 days. Um, all right, so that happens to be, well, four times nine times 21 is 756. We looked at this a few videos ago. And from that day of declaration, plus 756 days, landed on 5-6, happens to be when King was coronated. Okay, and uh, so that was a full circle tie-in because number 756 is to begin to reign. And uh, it's also Archomai is the word it's taken from. Arch angels on 4-9. Arch-O-23. Oh, now 2023 and second day third month is 518 boom and uh again that 4921 plus 756 days brings us to 56 may 6 but we also have that 56 which is 517 518 1,756 days just happens to be four years, nine months, and 21 days. What? And four times nine times 21 is 756. That alone is just mind-blowing. Now, that happens to be 151,718,000. 400 seconds so who cares about that well i do i hope we do because we got one father and 517 and 184 which is the gematria of my name 1840 which is daniel go thy way 1840 um, so we also have 184 full circle and 400 or four Jesus Christ times the hundred sheep. 400 is the value of the Tav, this 22nd last letter in Hebrew. And it is in ancient Hebrew, literally a picture of a cross and its value is 400. It so all goes through the cross. Forty-two thousand one hundred forty-four minutes. I assume I forgot to write down what unit that was. But we have forty-two months of Jacob's trouble and one forty-four, and we know that's prophetic. And uh, let's see, four twenty-one. So we looked at Daniel ten twenty-one. I don't usually look at the end of the verse, but it's relevant for this. So, Michael, your prince. Michael is 51. And your prince is used 421 times. So, these things tie together. They're communicating regarding the same thing. Why should you care about that? Right here. This 517 is why. Notice the 517 is in 1184. Oh, 
want to say that's the word say. It's one of those keywords. I've got so many numbers in my head now. 1184 times first use. Oh, it's speak. First use is 840 times. Speak unto the rock. That's Numbers 20, verse 8, the 4,320th verse in the Bible. That'd be 32 in 40. Because March 2nd, he said, tell them yet 40 days. 40 days later, he made us, had us make declaration by speaking under the rock. And that speak is 1,184 times. Well, now we're looking at the manifestation. That began the flood. 4, 9, 4, 10, 21 began the flood. And now we're looking at the manifestation. 5, 17, removal of the floodgates. We'll know when we know. But 5, 17 in 1184, speak under the rock. By 184. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Second use after the 840 is 61. Speak 840, say 61 times, which 517 happens to be the 61st day of the year. It's 481.10% of a common year, which happens to be 81 for the Hebrew year 5781 in 410, day of declaration in the year 5781. It is staggeringly beautiful, if you understand it. Lastly, in closing, I said I did those in reverse order, 10, Daniel 10.21, and then Daniel 10.20. So 10.21 is, or 1.21, full circle, and 1.21, the archangels, and this is full circle, or 102 full circle. The Archangel, the Archangels. Separated by 19, which for the record is 4 plus 1 plus 7 plus 2 plus 3. Wherefore, 4100, we talked about that. And it's used 750 times, which is 75. It's really 75 full circle, but it's also 5 in 70. 5, 7 full circle. That's it. Hope that wasn't too long. And I hope you're blessed. I love you guys dearly. And I really, really look forward to rejoicing with you in the presence of our Lord and King and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. Worthy is the Lamb. Mighty is the Lion of Judah. Glory to God and His Son, Jesus Christ.